Hey guys, Unwolf here. I know you guys have been waiting for a long time for this patch, so I'm just gonna give a little sneak peek on certain guns that Titan has worked hard on, and on some features that Einga has recently cooked up for us to work on. First on the list, we have shoe battery buffs, 120 to 180. For the most part, Stubbers have only used shoes for two things, emergency batting against mines that have been dropped in their face, or to potentially get a sneaky trade in. In general, they never ever feel as useful as nanobots. To counter that idea and give shoe batteries more of an equal if not better impact within fights, we've increased the amount of shoe energy they give. To even more illustrate that we want to give shoe batteries a more front and centre role, we've introduced shoe boosting to the formula. Simply put, shoe boosting gives your shoes damage reduction based on how many shoe batteries have been used, with both a minimum amount needed to activate up to a maximum duration. Shoe boosts come in three different varieties, Graviton, Molecular, and Positron. For snubs, Gravitons are your stock standard shoes. They are standard similarly to the live game currently. They give high damage reduction for lower duration. Moleculars on the other hand, have a lower regeneration rate, have a passive 50% damage reduction to mine damage, and have slightly lower damage reduction for longer duration. Positrons, which is why I'm using the B-Roll behind, have two components to them, the shoe boost and the shoe discharge. The shoe boost component of Positrons isn't as strong as the other shoes, but the point of it is to bait your enemies into shooting you. The more damage taken during the shoe boost, the more damage you get to discharge on them. Currently, we have weighted more the damage during the discharge to be against shoes, but that also means that the discharge is energy in nature, which means you can drain your opponents should they get hit with it. Other classes in play have slightly different setups for how shoe boosts work, so definitely take a look at the info cards to figure out what they do and what best suits your style of flight. Next on the list, we have burst fire guns. This one isn't as big of a change, but it's been fun balancing them and seeing what Titan come up with in terms of weapons and effects. Burst fire guns trade general DPS for big multi-shot bursts. They can either hold someone down with or stop at any time should you feel you have missed the opportunity. We're missing a reload function however, and it makes its use slightly clunky and unsightly if one wants to manually reload them. Without further ado, the rest of the footage is a showcase of some burst fire guns. Enjoy.